Hello, and welcome to the Elder Scrolls Skyrim. We're going to hack Zend, then we're gonna go to Winterhold, and then we're gonna kill all the vampires in the world, and we'll all live a happy life under my dictatorial regime. Oh, that was a surprise for the later, but never mind. A snow fox. Hey, little buddy, can I grab you? Apparently not. So I believe the next 12 days will be... Cool. So since we have no idea where the sun is, we're just gonna have to keep on walking. Until it shows its cowardly face. Then we're gonna shoot it. Again, I have no idea how that works. He didn't explain the elf. But what do you expect? No one trusts an elf, and for a good reason. Elves are dorks. I mean, you know, if Serrano was a snow elf, that would have been cool. Not only would we have a unique companion, but she could have told us some cool stuff about the world. Ah, missed opportunities. So, Hag's End. Let's see, have we cleared that? I honestly think that we have killed the, the Hag there. Oh no! It's a thing made of ice. Uneasily shatterable ice. What makes you think I know? Let's just continue. Execution orders. You know, it's so... Unique that we find those things here again. It's obvious that I had thrown them there, perhaps off a mountain. The game decided not to delete them, and now we can find them again. And it's a piece of paper, it's not some magical enchanted scroll or anything. Okay, Arvok. Come on, boy or girl. Apparently, we haven't killed the hag's end. Well then, let's correct the mistake, shall we? Oh no, poison. What's the hurry? What's the hurry? Let me just shoot you. Yeah, I did that on purpose. And that... Wait, was that a grand so gem that I just lost? Bloody hack. Yep, a Master Ryan door. I knew I'd find you.
It will cost me some lockpicks, but I will take it down in eventually. There you go. What is this? A steel sword. It's not even a unique sword. Come and face the yeah. That's why I'm here to face you guys. You are so uni unique. Ouch. That's all you got. I mean, I can hit you a second time, but that will probably kill you. The Madman of the Reach. Are you talking about the Forsworn? Yeah, it's quite mad. Deepwood Veil. If you would like to adopt an orphan, don't hesitate to kill his parents and wait for him to appear at the orphan. You've been in the island two times. Tops three. Oh no, a pillager with two daggers. A looter, really. I'm sure you can, mate. There you go, see? It's easy to kill them. They are just human, and human are so fragile. Oh, Sarana, he killed him. Good. No more. <laughs> How dare you beg for mercy? Did you show any mercy to the people you've slaughtered? Well, when you say that, it sounds kind of stupid. That armor really, really doesn't fit Sarana. Extreme healing. Someone there. Who's there? Ha! Found you. Well, I wasn't actually hiding. <laughs> Sweet dreams. Yeah, that's how a guy without a head looks like. Twenty percent better. Wow. Really not impressed by that. Frontier conquest. That'll teach you. Well, I was looking for a cinematic camera, but it doesn't matter. Honestly, this is a decent dungeon. Hack's end was discovered. Well then, let's continue with its discoveries. You know, I wish we could receive letters for the shines as well. Here we go. Ooh, potatoes. Medieval people. No more. I... Ah! Ah! I'll see 
We don't bake potatoes here, we boil them. Scroll of fine boat. Extreme healing and the rune book. Why do you keep rune books? I thought you were wise and powerful, not dumb and... Wait, really? Dark Brotherhood's assassin. Now that is kind of weird, isn't it? Wow, we just leveled up by failing to open an apprentice lock. A greater so gem. Boring. My money's on the big one. Hey, what what was that? <laughs> there you are. <laughs> Time for you to vanish, witch. So why do you have a throne here? You can't even sit on it. What was that? Time to end this game. What's the hurry? There you are. Well, you see, I really, really want you to die quickly. What's the hurry? She says. It's amazing how stupid some people are. A master lock. Well, what do you know? The sweet spot is around here. Gotcha. And an apprentice lock. There we go. Lock picks in the chest. Opened. Did you hear something? <laughs> mercy. I like that it was the severed head that said mercy. Another master lock. This place is amazing. Okay. Gotcha. Still didn't level up. It wasn't that masterful after all then. Eternity slow time. I mean, I was always taught to avoid these types of villains. Where'd you come from? Come on, Hag Raven. Let's play. Whoa, okay. Ow. I'm sure Serana's gonna be fine. Told you no pets allowed. Uh, what is it? This better not be all the things you just can't be bothered with. Just giving you back your armor. Okay, let's summon Arvok and I'm gonna fast travel. Really? Do you forget where you are supposed to be summoning the horse? 
That's the second time you do that game. It's not getting any less annoying, just saying. Well then. Come on. Walk. Apparently I need to go through the cave. Again. Still, we got the shout to slow down time. If I was still crafting stuff, that would have been incredibly useful. Wow, it still works. Amazing. Ow. Bloody access. Mao ushering Razor Snow. Whatever it was, it's gone now. Really? Did I miss you, or did you just spontaneously start to exist for no reason? Oh, a Ravager. Really? I mean, I think you can take... Well, I think you can take Serana. Can't take me. A field black soul gem. Truly a marvel. Rocks and valley, crevices, <gasps> hiding places. This is the kind of place where hermits and fanatics dwell. Well, it seems like the world is a little bit brighter after we slaughtered them all. Except this guy. He's still alive. Damn you. We are routed! Pull back! <sighs> I mean, what did you expect to happen? Okay, let's summon Arbuck. First, let's drop by my house. From there, we can travel to Winterhold. You know, I shouldn't even care about that armor. I don't find it appealing. Except the boots, they look kinda cool. Okay. Who's there? Oh, vampires, wonderful. <sighs> Where'd you come from? Who's there? Oh, you're just bandits. <laughs> I mean, I don't even know why you thought that's a good idea. Be careful. Isn't it interesting that they attack me only when I'm home? <sighs> Again. You're welcome. Well, that's actually interesting. I thought it would have grown by now. Okay, that's quite a lot of garbage we need to get rid of, especially you. Okay, we can wait. Ok, 
Can I hire a chef? I honestly am not sure why I went down here. Just need to get rid of some of my armors. That's a shield rack. Daedric Sword of Inferno. Okay, I'm definitely not interested in any of these. Let's just leave the armor here. I'm gonna keep you with me. Potions. We have quite a lot of you, don't we? Right. Also, we have a safe. Let's use it. My shield that glows in blue, my axe that grows in ice, and the sword that glows in fire. Glows in fire. Now that's incredibly pretty. Because it's emerald, I like emeralds. Some gold. And sapphire. That's also incredibly pretty. Damn, I'm fed up. I think I used that word wrong here. Not that it matters. So, you ready to kill daddy? I know I asked you before, but it never gets old now, does it? Okay, how did you get that honey up there? And why are we keeping those berries up here as well? Now that's one powerful bee. Alright, what do we have? Ario's bow. Some stupid arrows. Okay, that's all fine. Arrows are easy to sell. Okay, Arvok, time to go, my boy. Winter hold. Let's hope we find a dragon in there. Or not. You know, not finding a dragon is also acceptable. I don't care how many colleges they build. Or how much the sea swallows up. I'll outlast them all. Who are you again? All right, then. Okay, that's cool. I think there is a bear in town. Or as I go, it's not my problem. In case you're wondering, yes, I'm still part of the Companions. Enchanting services are one of the few things that keep us in touch with the rest of Skyrim. I think we could blow Nasty up half of Eastmarch. There are few places where still one can come You've already learned all I can teach you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so oh, this is the how of nonsense. Why were you pointing me towards the Archmage's quarters? Is this guy stealing from my drugs again? No, he's still in the library. Good. 
I know, it has a fancy name, the Arcanium. Like it means something. It's a library, dude. Archmage or not, my rules about books still stand. Have you made any progress translating Shavadar's work? We were able to figure out the last text you brought in. I thought the least I could do is pass the knowledge along. Okay. Any college business I can assist with? No. Take your work very seriously. This is quite an impressive library. Any interesting ancient farmer tomes? Well, well. I haven't seen one of these beauties in a long time. A rare find in the original Falmer language. You're damn right I'm interested. Question is, are you selling? How much are you paying? Well, considering no one else in Skyrim would buy something they couldn't possibly read, I'd say you don't have much of a choice. Tell you what, you bring me books like this, and I'll pay a thousand gold each. I'll even throw in a translated edition I have for free. Interested? Deal. Here you go. Cool. Touching the sky. The betrayed. Diary of Fire and Agar One. Translated from farmer text by Calcium of Markroth. Wait, you're from Markroth? Damn. I like it that the book isn't actually bigger than before. <coughs> Many of the most dedicated snow elves who have committed themselves to a tireless journey throughout the chantry of the Inner Sanctum, they carry with them the pardon desire to become one with their god, Ariel. Though all set out with the determination to prove their word, few were prepared for the trials that led ahead, for the path to Ariel was not without its troubleness. The pilgrims struggled not only against natural elements of treacherous veil, but with the merit of taste upon their faith and loyalty. It is still that many simply could not continue on the path for long before turning back. Some argue that the rebuke they endured upon their return was crueler than any punishment that may have lay ahead of them along the path. In their failed attempts, they were forced to live in the shadows of those who did continue on, to achieve the great glory and honor of ascending into the light forever after. Their fate and loyalty to Ariel would be scrutinized in their remaining days, filled with shame and regret. Tales of those who reached the inner sanctum are not without their share of woes. It is said upon their arrival that many were mere shells of the person they had once been, some were quite mad from sleeplessness and starved to the point of fertility. But the end of their journey, the marvel that they had straight yet to carry their vassal and ascend to the stairs of the temple, was the last true testament of their loyalty. Regardless of each individual's tale, the final words remain eerily similar. It is said that every pilgrim ascended bathed in the light, a look of relief and continuation in their face. Contentment. Cool. That's some heavy stuff we're carrying. Now, I'm not sure if there are four, five, or six books, or even more. But fact is, I honestly cannot be bothered to search for them. Okay, Arvak. Here, boy. Come on, Sarana, hop on. We ride. We may need to go to Iverstead. But first... To Riften.
and the rest of the way we shall walk. Thanks for pushing me. I really needed that shove. This must be the way. Yep, it's the way. Let's go. Maybe now, after we take down the vampires, these attacks will stop and I will be able to purchase and sell armor wherever I want without the fear of the merchants being slaughtered. Also, there is a ruin right there somewhere. I'm actually curious to see where it is. Okay, let's see, how do we reach this place? There is a dragon here, or was at least. Broken Helm Hollow. Okay. Run away, dear, I don't want your horns. That's Nightingale Hall. We've been here. A lovely place. A little boring, honestly. It's just two rooms. Filled with nothing. Okay, good. Let's run a little bit faster. Okay, Arvok, maybe I'll need you. Right, first enchanted crossbow. I doubt we're gonna need that. I actually think I may need to upgrade Ariel's bow. Are you kidding me again? I mean, it seems like you're summoned. You just don't show on the map. How close are we? Um, I guess not that close, but still. I'll find the path, no worries. There is also a fort there. Okay, Arvak. Right, boy. We have a mountain to claim. A little swollen on that pain. Whatever. Now there is a fort there. Doesn't look that big. I might explore it. And this is not even on the map. Seriously? Bad cat. Eye or tooth?
Well, that's why we don't sleep here. We get stoned. For all host, since it took us a while to reach this far. Hello. You there, hold. If you're a true friend of Skyrim, you will help me in my mission. Are you an elf wearing a bear? The general has sent me to obtain a powerful weapon for the war effort. This was the last great bastion of the dragon cult. And their leader's mask was reported to be quite powerful. What can you tell me about this dragon coat? They were among the first men to arrive from Atmora, and they worshipped certain animals as avatars of the gods, dragons being foremost. And for their bloody sacrifices, the dragons gifted their priests with terrible power. But their cruelty was too great for men to bear, and they rose up in what would be called the Dragon War, and the cult swept from the land. What can you tell me about Horror Host? It seems that after the strength of the cult was broken in the Dragon War, a last contingent came here to create a stronghold and regroup. King Harold's forces crushed stragglers here during the First Era, and it has been haunted ever since. But the specifics of the siege are unclear. Okay, but we'll have the cost. Very good. The research I've done seems to indicate... that Scorm Snowstrider left part of his journal here after laying siege. I believe it should indicate how to enter the blocked off sections of the stronghold. I should warn you, Foral Host is quite haunted, but I'm sure you can handle it. Return to me here once you've obtained the staff. Oh, so you want me to do all the work? It's a hunted and dangerous place. Why don't you go there alone? I bet I get to keep the mask in the end, and take his life as well. Maybe I'll need to save him for dessert, however. I might need his blood, after. I've cleared everything that's undead. Wow. Ancient Nord Boots. I just want to see how I'm going to look in that. That's not ancient Nord. That's Forsworn. I do like the boots though. Anyway. Yeah. Ow. Yeah. yeah, one piece of armor is more than enough, I think. Taking your life with me. I was always taught to avoid these types of ruins. I think I see why now. Okay, I'm okay. taking the coin purse. That's an OS chest that broke my lock. Ooh, diamonds. Yeah. Ow. Yeah. Ow. I'll teach you being dead. What is this? Dragon Priest Dagger. Is that made of bronze? Looks like dwarven in design, honestly. A 
still didn't get a level up. 13 of Sun Dusk E139. At the command of Lord Harold, we arrived to swap to the company on the south edge of our territories in an attempt to dive the Snow Elves up north to the main host of his forces. The first few days met with heavy resistance, but we apprehended the edge of Lake Hanrich. We have seen little less of them. We have begun to receive reports of attacks of attacks back around Lake Arnick, and word has come from the front that we should pull back to be sure we are not leaving our rear exposed. If there is a stronghold of elves here, we will surely not find them. It sounds impossible, but we appear to have stumbled upon a massive horde of dragon cultists who were believed to have wiped out during the Dragon Wars. I'm curious, what are the Dragon Wars? The elves must wait. As this is a threat we cannot uh, ignore. If we are quick, we may be able to catch them unaware and avoid a lengthy siege. Third week of the siege. Well, that failed. The men grow restless with the cold and all miss their families. If that blasted storm hadn't caught us off guard and slowed our ascent, we might have taken the monastery. But as it stands, we may be in for several more weeks of pondering on their walls. I've sent word to Hanard and so on one of Vice Master to help bring down the walls. We've brought down their main gate thanks to the young Vice Master, but the branch lad took an arrow in the knee. Yeah, I know it's the neck, but come on. In the process, it seems he will be joining the Eighth in Sovereign Guard soon. The cultists have fallen back to the inert of the monastery, but soon enough we will breach those defenses and sooner or better the better. It's too blasted cold in this mountain. We entered the monastery today, only to find all inside dead. It appears they have purposely carved the stairways to the refinery and then took their own life. Some appear to have slit their own wrists, others we found with empty vials. Most appear to be poisoned, but oddly there are not as many empty bottles as one would expect, but the number of the dead we shall hold up here overnight rather than face the cold and explore the catacombs in the morning to see if we can find another passage to the upper area. May the eight protect us from the dragons and the madman. We lost half of our remaining men today. We discovered a well in the catacombs, looked but with the several buckets already filled in their excitement for drink that didn't risk frostbite on their tongue Two scores drunk before the code could stop them. God knows how these cultists could have used that horrible poison in their own water supplies. We have lost more men to this catastrophe than we did taking the courtyard. Well, people were dumb. The well was locked from the side, and the key must be somewhere in the catacombs, but with the ghosts of the dead cultists in the men demoralized, it just isn't worth the search. Let those goat for second coaters drink their way to oblivion and be done with it. The upper door in the courtyard has some sort of barrier over and our mages believe that the sacrifice made here will sustain it for decades at least. We leave this accursed place tomorrow to regroup and push up north, but I will live this journal. So that the age of so when the poison has faded someone may find a way in to be sure the cultists met their final fate. Okay, cool. Where'd you go? Apparently they are not dead enough. Let me slay them once more. I see. I think his brain fell off his helmet. I see. Okay. This way has been sealed. There must be more to find. 
poisons everywhere. Now, he did mention a whale. Yes, this chest is empty, we know that. Ancient Nord arrows and bows. Is this the right way to go, I wonder? We can definitely not be sure. Hmm. Now this is the entrance. Yes, it is. Okay. Okay. Missed me. Or you didn't. I'm not sure. I mean, did I feel that wood hitting me in the head? From behind? Oh, Sarana. Move out of the way, please. One of the many reasons we don't need companions in this game. Yeah, cut her. She deserves it. Minor stamina. Oh. I know that you heard something, but what did you hear? Is it alive or dead? I am actually surprised that this guy can stand against your magical weapon. Right, we have this common soul gem that I need to use. D to charge, okay, common. There you go. Hmm. Iron. And ancient. Where'd you come from? Still haven't found that whale they were mentioning. Hey, Daedra. I mean, Drought. Strong. Okay, not bad. Is that a grand soul gem? Yes. Okay, keeping you. I believe it was empty. I mean, did you really think I would fall for that one? Look at how obvious it is. Okay, okay, not bad. Doesn't seem like I can go through here. It's fine, however. Elixir of Strength. Who's there? 
Let's pretend like he was strong. Four hold crypt. And that's ground as well. I mean, I can obviously unlock this. Oh, come on. Okay. Ninety six. So this was the well. <laughs> It honestly doesn't seem that poisoned. <laughs> yeah, is this where we came from? I know. No chests, only spider eggs. I mean, I think it's thematic, but still. Oh, wait. Never mind, let's go this way. What did you expect to happen there? <laughs> Can you blue eyed bastard? Yeah, I buried his mace in my. Ah, uh, he's. <laughs> I buried my mace in his face. I. Wanted to say that, but it didn't go that way. You come? <laughs> Ragdoll physics. say it's done but honestly it seems like there are two more of them my armor says otherwise so cool I don't even need the gloves I just wanted to see if this trap is gonna work hello yeah whatever An iron gate. <laughs> Burning. Come on, 
You must go through me before anyone else. Critical. That was a powerful one that you summoned there. Okay, can't open this door, I believe. Maybe I can't, we'll see. Who's there? You keep saying that, but it seems like I'm doing all the work. Okay, that wasn't that bad. Ooh, gold. I definitely need that. I'm running a little bit short. I knew I heard something. A glass cloth. Okay, I'm Prentice Chest. Let's unlock you. Feel the greater power of my soul gem. I mean, what did you expect to happen, dude? Jay, I wonder if this thing is trapped. There you go. Ebony Banalax. Great. Well, that dungeon was worth it. It was right at the end that we found the claw. Why is there snow in here? Fox? Oh, not sure. A snake? So, Ragot. I need that mask. Thank you. Yeah, I don't need the key, I believe. Courage. An ebony mace, okay. No, it does require a key. Okay. Guess we have to kill you all.
Right. So, let's take a look at that mask we just acquired. What does it give me? Increases your stamina by 70 points. That's it. And it looks absolutely atrocious. I believe Wait, it should end in blazes. Got something to say? Oh, uh, <laughs> hold, hold on. I, I, I can explain. Thalmor, you rat. You're not a soldier at all. Must be one of the Thalmor. Never should have come here. Come here. <laughs> I mean, I could have probably pickpocketed him and saw what his orders were. It would have saved me some time. You proceed to the ruins of Horsehoat to retrieve the mask from Darok's coat there. If you are discovered, impersonate an officer. It is unlikely that anyone from Skyrim will be clever enough to see through the disguise. Once you have obtained the mask, bring it to the Labyrinthium. Why? The labyrinthium is absolutely empty. Well, that wasn't that bad now, was it? Fine. See. Okay, just so you know, it was a hog that pushed me from the cliff there. So we have one of the most pathetic masks here. I say pathetic because my enchantment is definitely better than it. Usually it gives you three enchantments. This one just gives you one. Stamina plus some. Stendar's beacon. Stendar's mercy be upon you, for the vigil has none to spare. Cool. The suffering the Daedra cause will not go wherever the Daedra hide. The, vi the Exodus. Of Stendar will cast them into the light. I don't know if I just stole that book or not, but apparently no one minds. Oh dear. Fine. See. Okay, we need to go to Fort Dawnguard. And apparently that's where we are headed for. Before we saw the ruins and decided, hey, let's pay a visit to this place. Someone do something. Hello? There's been word of some trouble nearby. I'm on my way to investigate. Cool. We actually need to go this yeah. way. <laughs> hmm. Okay. We're almost at Fort Dawnstar.
There is a horse here. I like that the border gate is opened and it doesn't allow you to proceed through it. Or even reach it. That's even better. Okay, how close are we to the fort? It's supposed to be very close. And sometimes we just can't find the entrance. I think it's that cave over there. Oh, someone is trying to kill me with arrows. That's phenomenally stupid. Don't you know those things just annoy me? Well, you brought this on yourself. With cowardly tactics, you know. The Broken Helm Hello. Have I been in this cave before? Doesn't seem like it. Let's explore. Well, there goes the bandit chief. Was that the entire cave? Well, obviously not. There was a secret passage. Wow. That trap was weak. So is this an exit to something? Maybe there was once a little bit more of this cave? I don't know. The question is... Where am I supposed to go if I wanted to explore more of it? Yeah, it's just cleared. Okay. I've never seen leaves this color. I have no idea what you just said. Oh, now I'm gonna see it. Lovely. Okay, Moose, do you want me to smack you? 
I mean, he was obviously eager to die. Lovely place. Okay, we need to talk to Eastrun. Get out of here, monster. Get out of here, monster. You're kidding me. <sighs> it's so good to see you again. You really don't look well. Have you talked to Florentius? Maybe he can help you. Right, so you won't actually allow me to continue the mission unless I cure myself. You know, I tried to avoid it. Get out of here. Monster. Right, well... I'm going to end this episode here, so thank you all for joining me, and I'm gonna see you next time. Also, what's son? Goodbye.